um, it's an honor really winning this crown. I must say I'm feeling excited and at the same time I'm looking forward for the responsibilities that are going to be coming with the crown. I have uh, entered uh, Empress Universe pageant which is a global pageant and I have won the title for the city level and proceeded into winning the state level and again we had to proceed and then that is when I have won the country level. That gave me an opportunity to come to Goa to compete with many girls from all over the world in Empress Universe Petit category and I was crowned the Queen Empress Universe Petit 2018 winner. So I'm, I'm really happy and um, yeah, excited at the same time. So what was the inspiration to be part of this kind of a, a you know, pageant? I mean, what was the inspiration? Who inspired you? What, what really motivated you to become? My background really, because Empress Universe is more about uh, abused uh, women and children and uh, people living with uh, disabilities. So okay. I have a, a background whereby I have been a victim of uh, sexual and physical abuse from the age of three years until my young adulthood. And I have also lived as a street kid at one stage. So when I saw this opportunity, I said I can be a voice to the voiceless and I decided to enter the competition because it is in line with my dream. I would like to provide a home for abused women and children and also create a platform where we get men involved as well so they can have a better understanding of what is it like to be a victim of abuse. We know that abuse is it's across all genders and we just have to start somewhere. So why you tolerated so long, you, you know, the kind of abuse you faced? Why you tolerated that kind of a thing? I didn't get that. Why did you tolerate that? I mean, did you raise your voice against a person who... You know, uh, being a, a young child uh, from the age of three years and even up to my... when I was 11 years, okay. All these perpetrators, they were threatening me, and I couldn't speak. But uh, uh, what, what hurt me most is the fact that people knew about it, like uh, my family knew about it, but nobody could speak up. People are always afraid to be uh, victims, uh, because these perpetrators, they threaten you with death. But I feel that if we can all speak up and, and open up, it, it will be uh, a good thing because so many people are, are, are suffering in silence. There is a stigma to this as well. So being women, if I am sexually abused, they always are blaming me, you know? So that is why a lot of people are not coming out. But I, I'm here to say it is not your fault. So we have to, to, to learn to, to come up. And if you, even if you are not a victim, but you see that somebody might be going through that, be their voice. Let me voice for the be the voice for the voiceless. And lastly, you are in Mumbai. Mumbai is called, you know, in the land of Hindi movies. So are you aware of Hindi movies, Hindi film stars, anybody from Aita Bachchan to Shah Rukh or anybody? Do you watch Hindi movies, do you follow it? And what's your, you know, dream as such when it comes to the Bollywood industry? I I don't have much opportunity in my country to watch because of uh, the kind of uh, DSTV that I, I'm paying. But yes, I have had a chance where I've been watching movies like Sarah's Young Love. You know, it's it's really inspirational. So yeah, I, I will say it's a good platform uh, because if one has a, a message, they can always put it in film. In that way, you can be uh, touching or speaking to so many people. That's a great pl platform. Thanks, thanks for joining us. What do you say about you know, uh, training an elegant personality who has uh, achieved a blog in life? Huh? Can yeah. you I'm Dr. Vegra Singh, mm -hmm. and uh, I work for international conferences, programs, beauty contests, pageants. Uh, my involvement in, in these areas is as a trainer and a jury. Mm -hmm. So in, in the event where Malida has contested in Empress Universe competition, a beauty contest pageant, my role was to train her for two points of her, two of her sessions. One is the personality development and second is the question answer session. 
So I was just uh, giving some hints and uh, posts on internet connections to her in uh, South Africa from Mumbai. And when she came here, she spent a day to brush up all, all those uh, studies, what she did. And she did very well. I'm more than happy uh, uh, once I got a news that she won the crown, the top crown of this international competition. And uh, who can be more happy than me as a trainer to her? You know, she has suffered a lot of time from physical abuse to living on the street. So how did you inspire her to participate in a beauty band and, you know, make a place for her? I, I just uh, narrated a, a few lines of saying that forget the past. Whatever lessons you have learned in the past, try to mold your life in such a way that you first overcome and help others to uh, get rid of those type of uh, problems and uh, uh, move ahead, give a message to others, spread awareness and 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 uh, give the message to the world to take care of such underprivileged children and uh, females especially. Manita, what do you have to say about your trainer? What is the significant quality you really impressed her? I, I must say I'm very blessed to have met uh, Dr. Vitar Singh here. He has helped me a lot in terms of uh, building up my personality, my, my confidence, uh, and also to overcome the whole lot of challenges that we as models do face. You know, through, th through all the journeys, there is uh, up, ups and downs, challenges, and he's, he was always there for me. He is, he is a good coach. I'm and lastly, what's your vision for your, uh, you know, profession as such? What kind of role you are going to play in upbringing many more models like her? I, I have a vision. I, I, I search uh, personalities on the internet, and uh, then when we interact with them, half of the study. Uh, I was a scientist in my past uh, career, so I have a tendency to go into the depth of the uh, individual's career. Mm -hmm. And once I know that there is a potential, mm -hmm. the person, the individual has a potential, the only thing we have to help them to come out, overcome the uh, uh, so, some sort of a, a slackness in that uh, field of area, mm -hmm. and, and the individual can shine. And this was my uh, second trial. I had a, initially one more trial before that, that um, girl also did well. And it inspired me to have a bigger challenge. And this was a bigger challenge comparing to my previous one. And with her success, my success is inherent, inherently added in that. Thank you.